Making polyamides. Well, we both know that you've forgotten how to make an amide, so let's kick off with reviewing that. So there's an amine and a carboxylic acid. This is a condensation reaction, which means that a small molecule is produced. That one there is removed to make water, and the product is an amide. You've forgotten what an amide is. I know that too, so let me highlight that in purple for you. All right then, so we're up to speed. Now that looks pretty complicated, uh, and that's specifically mentioned in the syllabus. 1,6-diamino-hexane, because we're going to be making nylon. Hexandioic acid is next. And there's six carbons there, but people sometimes think there's four, but there's six. There we go. Now I'm going to remove water between the molecules and join them up with a covalent bond. So my two monomers have been now combined together, but I've not made a polymer yet. I've got to do this many, many, many more times. Well, I'm going to do it a couple more times. So on the right-hand side, let's pencil in another diaminohexane. Remove the water and covalently bond. Excellent. And just for giggles, let's do it on the left-hand side as well. Let's put in another hexandioic acid. So the IB wants you to know that these things have double-ended uh, functional groups, diamino, dioic acids. That's important. So we've made nylon, which is a polyamide. Let me try and write that out a little tidier. Well, first of all, let's find out where the repeating unit is. It's easy to get this wrong, so I'm trying to be careful here. Right, that's the repeating unit. Now let me put it in a neater fashion. The bonds have to go outside the square brackets or they'll mark you off. Don't forget the teeny tiny N as well.